I'm Jeff Chandler for the events calendar. The month view is an essential part of the events calendar and one of the most commonly used views. Today, we'll look at a few of the different ways in which you could style the month view with CSS. If you haven't yet, please read our customizing mobile styles knowledge base article for clarity on what we mean when we say mobile or desktop. It's not the screen size that matters, but the container size that counts. Our CSS selectors follow a pattern that makes it easier to figure out what they're for when you see them in the style sheet. The pattern we use is a modified version of BEM. Check out the link to the BEM website in the video description box below to learn more about what BEM stands for. There are a number of different items that you could style in the month view. On the screen, we see a cell, which is a square background of a single day on the month view grid where the events for a day are listed. Think of it as a single cell in a large grid of cells. Next, we have the styling of days in the past that you can see here. Then you can also style the current date. We have cell sections. Then we have the date heading that you could style and the events container. Now, recurring events can also be styled on their own and you can combine any of these to achieve some pretty sweet styles. Now, as with all of our recipes, please note that we share this in the hope it would be useful but without any guarantees or commitments. If you wish to use it, it is at your own responsibility to test it first and then adapt it to your needs. We are unable to provide further support in relation to this recipe. For a detailed list of CSS classes, example code, and more information on how to style the month view, please visit the knowledge base article linked in the video description below. And as you'll see, I'm already on that page and we have the various screenshots as well as the example CSS code that you can use. 